Okay, let's get started. Welcome to the iBailey webinar on Dunning Notices. My name is Tom Owens, and I'm the director of NetSuite Business Development at iBailey. Today, we're going to talk about how you can leverage NetSuite's Dunning module to systematically track overdue receivables and persistently send letters to customers to demand payment. Here's what we're going to review today. First, we'll introduce our team on the phone and give you an introduction to iBailey and who we are. Then we'll introduce you to the Dunning module NetSuite has developed to manage your collections process. And finally, we will wrap up, take questions, and talk about next steps. Let's get started. First, let's do introductions. Again, I am Tom, Director of NetSuite Business Development for Ide Bailey's Technology Practice. I have worked for software companies focused on high growth and profitability, and I spent the past 10 years on executive leadership teams. Was previously a business owner and am, current, and, and am a current board member. My experiences range from Fortune 500 companies to early phase startup, including ERP experience with NetSuite and Adaptive. On the phone with me is Kim Hitchcock, who will be walking us through the Dunning module today. Kim is an experienced NetSuite implementer and solutions engineer. She is certified in several NetSuite applications and has over 10 years experience, including NetSuite, SAP, and Microsoft. At I Bailey, we like to think of ourselves as advisors first and technology providers second. We only succeed when our clients succeed, and that is why our driving force every day is to help you find the best way forward. We bring our knowledge, passion, and experience to transform the way you do business and deliver lasting results. iBailey has been around for more than 100 years and is a top 20 CPA firm. But iBailey is more than an accounting firm. We are an award-winning consulting, business advisory, and professional services firm. We are driven to help clients take on the now and the next with inspired ideas, solutions, and results. Our teams have experience that span multiple industries using proven services approach that focus on business processes and user adoption. Our practice also specializes in complementary technologies like Salesforce CRM, data analytics, integrations, and advisory services. Our service offerings are always focused on helping with today's unique challenges. Other areas of importance for our firm, other, I'm sorry, other areas of importance our firm helps with, including R&D tax credits, state and local tax compliance services, and providing evaluation and application assistance with the new CARES Act Small Business Law. Our NetSuite team provides services to clients across the United States. We have successfully implemented over 500 companies and boast an award-winning team. We have over 55 consultants holding 100 plus certifications with an average experience of over 10 years. Our team has earned the American Solutions Provider Award four of the last five years. This is an award based as much on customer experience and success as it is a strong and growing NetSuite practice. If you have questions on who iBailey is, or if you are interested in our other service offerings, contact one of our client success managers. Information on them will be provided at the end of this presentation. Dunning is a centuries old term describing the process of business owners communicating with customers in an effort to collect money owed for goods and services provided. NetSuite's Dunning Letters Suite app enables you to set up an automated Dunning process in NetSuite to help manage the collection of your accounts accounts receivable and send reminder letters before payment is due. If you have questions as we progress through the presentation, please put them in the Q&A section of the Zoom meeting and we will respond to them at the end of the presentation. In today's economic climate, climate businesses are seeing growing AR and steep increase in day sales outstanding. This not only puts a strain on cash flow but also puts stress on accounting, team, accounting teams trying to keep up on collections while continuing to manage day-to-day -day operations. Manually managing past due invoices can be time consuming and costly, requiring your business to dedicate additional personnel and resources. With Dunning Letters module, you can automate your accounts receivable processes and reduce the number of manual procedures it takes to accept payments. The result is faster payments from your clients and improved cash flow without diverting resources and increasing the workload of your employees to achieve it. Here are the demonstration topics Kim will be presenting. If you have questions on other features not in the presentation today, the client success managers will be able to schedule a personalized follow-up with your team. The contact information will be provided at the end of the presentation. Now I'm going to turn it over to Kim. All right, you should be able to see my screen. It's a NetSuite screen. And I'm going to start beginning with the uh, initial setup of the Dunning Suite app. Once the Suite app has been installed and provisioned to your account, you'll be, able to, you'll be required to do a some level of initial setup. So to begin, we must create our first letter. So the way that this works is coming down here into this Dunning tab here, you're going to have some additional features that you can run through. In here, I can set up templates. 
and I can associate those templates to how they need to be set up. So coming into this uh, initial screen here for Dunning templates, I'm going to come in and view the initial ones I have. In here, I have some different uh, level Dunning templates. I have a level one, two, and three. Each of these are going to be how progressive that they need to be based on you know, how many days old they are. And we'll go over to Dunning levels here in a minute. If I come into here, you can see that I have the associated uh, Dunning te letter template, so email template, that's associated with this particular, um, this particular template for the Dunning template. So the way that this works is I would use my email templates here, uh, the standard NetSuite email templates. I would create the email template. So if I just come into this level three one here and look at it. You can see that I'm using standard NetSuite email templates and PDF templates. I'm taking this information and then applying it to my Dunning template. And in here, I'm actually specifying whether or not I want to attach the copies of the invoices. And if I do, if they're the only overdue ones, if I want to attach a statement, and if I'm on the statement, I only want to include the open transactions. So this is the very first level of setup that you're going to do within the Dunning module, which is creating your email template and then setting up those Dunning templates based on those email templates and how they should be set up. Within these email templates, you're able to change the data that's coming uh, from the bundle itself, and you're able to additionally rebrand it to meet your company's uh, requirements. The next thing I need to do is I need to come into here and set up a Dunning level rule. The Dunning level rule defines the thresholds for overdue amounts and overdue days. So if I come in here and look at this level one, 30 days greater than $1,000, what it's telling me here is that we're looking for an overdue balance that is 30 days or greater, and it'll apply to all invoices that are $100 for a total balance of, of $1,000 for this particular customer. So if a customer meets this criteria, then they would be considered a level one you can set up as many rule or many level rules as you would like. So in this particular account, I have three different rules. I have a 30 day, a 60 day and a 90 day. You could, you could create a level four, for example, for 120 days if you wanted to. The next thing that you're going to do once you have the levels, the level rules set up is you're going to apply those level rules and templates to the actual Dunning procedures. The Dunning procedure here is, to, it's going to define the escalation points or Dunning levels and time lapse before a Dunning letter is actually sent to the customer. So as you can see here, I'm going to give it just a standard name and then I'm going to have an applies to. In this case, I have to ha define a strategy when I have my Dunning to say, do I want it to apply to the customer or do I want it to apply to a specific invoice? NetSuite's best recommendations is that you apply it to a customer level as the invoice would only be used for a one-off invoice. Customer level a Dunning will allow you to send a Dunning letter with all overdue invoices of the customers attached. You can include non-overdue invoices as well, as long as they meet the criteria of your Dunning level. On the invoice level, it's going to be only used if it should apply to treat one or more invoices for that particular customer that would fit a different rule set or need a different template. The next thing I need to do is set the minimum Dunning intervals. This is going to be how many times the letter can be sent to a single customer in a day. So if I went in here and I said I wanted to have this sent twice, I could send it twice. In my particular case, I have it sent once. If I check on this disable minimum Dunning, it's going to disregard what's in this field and send the uh, emails off as many times as I want to the customer based on my workflow frequency. The next thing you need to specify is your sending schedule. In here, I can either set it to be manual, which would mean I'm going to manually trigger my emails to be sent off, or I can set it to be automatic, which would mean that my workflow is going to come in and set, uh, send them automatically based on my workflow frequency. I'm gonna define who my Dunning manager is. This Dunning manager will also show up on the customer record. And they're the collection, the internal collections agent that's responsible for managing this customer. And then lastly, down here, 
I'm going to go ahead and set up my levels and apply my levels for this particular procedure. And again, I can have multiple procedures in my account and I can have multiple rules set up. So in this case, I have all three of my level rules applied to this one particular procedure. So lastly, what I'm going to do is come to the customer record and show you a customer that's been set up for Dunning. So in this account, I'm going to go over to my customer. And we're going to look at the customer Dunning preferences. So as you can see, when you enable the Dunning module, you're going to get a new tab here called Dunning. This is going to include all the preferences related to this particular customer. You'll notice the same thing on the invoice side. Uh, you'll get another tab on the invoice that would house, house the Dunning information. So you can apply Dunning rules at the invoice level as well. In this case, I have my manager already pre-populated based on my Dunning procedure. I'm allowing emails to be sent. I can also allow pre-printed PDFs if I wanted to send them off through uh, regular USPS mail. The Dunning level is going to automatically calculate based on the criteria that the customer meets. So if you recall how many days past due and what their total overdue is based on the levels we set up, that tweet is going to have some uh, evaluation workflows that run in the background that will automatically set what Dunning level this customer is at. You can see when the last email was sent. And then if there is any reason that you needed to pause the Dunning, maybe you have uh, something that's kind of in um, question with you know, some invoices or anything like that, you have the ability to pause the Dunning and actually put a pause reason in there, as well as some pause detail comments. If the Dunning is paused, this customer would be excluded from automatically sending emails or from being showing up in the automatic bulk email. So once you have that applied, you would come into your Dunning recipients. These are going to be the individual contacts at the customer side that would be responsible for receiving the invoices or the Dunning notices. All right, the next thing we're going to do is talk about how we would send off these emails. So if a customer meets the criteria, they will automatically be sent to the bulk letter Q for processing their Dunning procedures. That is if their Dunning procedure is set to manual. If your Dunning procedure is actually sent to automatic, the workflows will kick off in the background and there's a series of workflows that are pre-configured in the account once you enable Dunning. And as you can see, they're all kind of set up here. This is what happens in the background if you have everything set to automatic. It does Dunning evaluations. It's going to assign your procedures and then it's going to email off this to the sender. So let's go to your email queue and actually look to see what's out here to be assigned. So if I come into my Dunning email sending queue, it'll be a bulk queue of all customers that have their uh, emails ready to go. So each one of these customers meet a criteria. You can see what levels they're meeting, what procedure they're on, and whether or not they allow their email or mail to be sent. So in this case, I can come in here, I can select this customer, and I can hit the send button. I can also use these top filters to uh, filter down my list if I wanted to look at specific procedures or even specific levels, or if I wanted to see a specific customer. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one to send, and then I would just hit the send button. This is going to take my procedure and my details associated with my procedure and send off that particular email to that customer and it'll flag it to the customer's record. As you can see, he no longer shows up on my list because his email has been sent out and I have some restrictions saying you can only send one email to a customer per day. So let's go back to our customer record and look at what the Dunning notices look like once they're sent off. So if I come into this messages tab here, you'll see that I have a few different ones sent in this account, but we're gonna look at this one with the attachments. So this is my level three third to notice overdue payments email. It's going to show me, here's the uh, information that I've captured. 
it's showing me a list of all of the open invoices, the amount and the due date. And then in this particular account, I have it set up where I'm going to send a customer statement along with my notices. So the last thing I want to do is just kind of show you some of the dashboards that come along once, you, uh, once you've set up your Dunning. So I'm going to log in as a Dunning manager. As my Dunning manager, we're just going to look at a few of the different KPIs and reports that are shown for these particular customers. So I'm able to manage my invoices overdue. I can see any customers that are paused. I have different KPI indicators that I can uh, manage. I have average time to pay, so I can see all my average time to pay. I can see my overdue receivables by customer. I'm able to see my overdue receivables by age. And then I'm also able to see just a full view of overdue receivables and my total AR. So as you install the Dunning procedure module, you'll get a set of two new roles. Those two roles would be your Dunning manager and your Dunning um, director. The Dunning manager will come predefined with a dashboard that looks similar to this. And then you're able to also look at that information. And if you want to incorporate it into any of your pre-existing roles, you'd be able to go into your pre-existing roles and modify those roles to include this new data and new permissions and new reports and KPIs. This concludes our demo for today. I will pass the controls over to Tom and then we'll open it up for Q&A. All right, thank you, Kim, for the demonstration of the uh, NetSuite Dunning module. Uh, now let's turn it over to Amy Canusta, we'll lead Q&A. Amy? Uh, certainly, we have one question at this time, Kim. And that question is, how do I as a user know if I already own the Dunning module? Sure, that's actually something that as the administrator of your account, you would be able to see in your billing information. Uh, once you're in your billing information, you can go down to your billing details and it would show in there under modules if it's been provisioned to your account. Thank you, Kim. That's all we had at this time. Great, thanks, Amy. So what's next? Your journey with NetSuite continues to evolve from implementation to optimization. At iBailey, we have a number of options to support the journey from on-demand support services to a full array of managed support services. Please ask your client success manager how we can support you with your specific needs. Again, thank you for attending this presentation, and this concludes the webinar.